Hello, I'm Sam. Uh, and in this video, I want to show how to use uh, preform scan a model to work with uh, a lot of models at once and maybe some other ways to use the software that you might not know about. Uh, and if this is the first scan a model video you're watching, I definitely recommend starting with um, the introductory or the, the basic walkthrough first. That is generally how most people will use it. Uh, but these techniques are going to be helpful, I think, uh, to others. Um, that want to get it a little bit further with the software. Uh, and so uh, I have Preform open here and you'll notice I have uh, a window open, right, with my files. And usually what happens when you go into, to um, scan a model is you click on the tooth icon to bring it up and you import the, uh, the files through, you know, Windows Explorer or Finder or whatever you're using, right? There's another way to do it that can actually make uh, producing lots of models at once a little bit easier. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so the way to start is we're going to be just dragging in all of the files that we want to uh, build uh, at once. And so today I'm going to be just showing um, two uh, model sets, so two uppers, two lowers from two different people. So just drag them right in. Critically, uh, Preform is going to try to repair this mesh thinking that it's a non-manifold mesh, because it is. Uh, you want to ignore this. That's one of the sort of uh, trickinesses to this workflow uh, um, and this way of doing it. And just ignore these warning boxes. Just ignore them for now. Uh, so I'm going to make this full screen. And also, make sure to turn off printability. That's one of the nice things about the import feature does, is it uh, uh, turns that off for you automatically. It just makes things a lot easier if you turn it off. Uh, and then the last uh, thing I want to show here is, um, it's really important to also know that on the right hand side where my cursor is, the model list allows you to really work with multiple files with it pretty much making it easier, right? Because when you're, you're working on models and you can't really see one's in the way or whatever, you can click off these boxes to hide and show uh, files and parts. This is extremely useful and I'll be showing it in use a couple times during this, uh, this presentation. Um, so let me turn them all back on. So when your files are in, uh, the easiest way, especially using this workflow to get them into the right orientation, is uh, actually using this uh, button under orientation tool. So if you look over here on the left, you hit this button, and I, I use this uh, button all the time for select base and snapping things down to the build platform, but orient to bounding box is extremely uh, quick for this workflow. If you notice, you hover over these boxes and it shows you what surface do you want facing the build platform. So um, just like the normal workflow, you want to have the occlusal anatomy up or away from the build platform, and we want the open mesh down. So quickly, you can find exactly where that is on each of these. Uh, it's a little bit quicker, um, and so I'll just find all four of them now. And once you have that, of course, uh, like I showed in my previous video, you can make small adjustments by changing the view and going from the side and, and tweaking the rotation sphere. But for this workflow, I'm just going to assume the occlusal plane is pretty close, because they are, and uh, how I would cut these up and base them. So now that they're in the general correct position, uh, I'm going to then bring up scan to model. Uh, so I'll just give them a little bit more space so I can see them all individually and I don't have these um, these red boxes around. Uh, so something like that. I'm going to click on our tooth icon like normal. And since we are not importing, uh, the second you click on something, a, a surface like this, it will allow you to just go next. Uh, that's great. Uh, we've already put the models into position or the, the scans, uh, digital impressions into position. So we're just going to hit next again and we're going to do trim position. This is kind of the neat part. Once you set this, like if these are all generally the same height scans and if you're taking the digital impression, you can generally capture more or less, right? If they're all generally the same height, say you set this pretty conservatively like uh, the trimming plane like this, um, you can apply that to all these models moving forward. So Generally, these are all around the same height. I mean, maybe this one's a little bit lower, but get a good general uh, guess for maybe two, right? You hit next. Uh, this is going to be a pretty tall model uh, cut like this, so I'm going to do base height zero, and you hit create. Uh, so I'm just going to sort of edit some of these uh, calculation parts. So uh, it, it, some of this might be a little bit sped up, but I want to show you uh, how I go through all of them relatively quickly here. Okay, so this model now has been based, it's ready to go. And the really neat thing here is you can just click on the next one, uh, hit restart, um, and 
uh, or click off of it, hit done, click on your next model, open up scan to model like so, and it keeps your plane position. So this is really good for this one too, right? So next, next, it's gonna calculate this model just like it did the previous. Wait for this to go, and then we'll do the next two. Okay, now our second model is built, looking pretty good. I'm gonna hit done, move on to the next, scan to model again. Uh, again, orientation is good. Keeps our cut plane, just quickly make a small adjustment there. Uh, we wanna keep enough of the gingiva here. Next, no base height, create, moving on. Okay, third model's done here. Um, we're ready to move on. And of course, uh, like I mentioned earlier, say this is starting to get cluttered or you're doing even more than this, just turn off the ones that are already built, right? So you can see here with this one selected, if you look at the bottom right, uh, this is now selected in the model list. Just turn that off, right? Uh, it just gives you a easier sort of navigation of the space and you can see clear what you're doing next. All right, so we hit done. Uh, scan a model once more. Next, orientation's good. Trimming plane, this looks really darn close to where we'd want it to be. Um, and the other really neat thing uh, is you can make rotations to the model here in this step, even the next step. Uh, it doesn't finalize until the last step. So you can make a small tweak just like what I'm doing here uh, and then notch it down a little bit if you want and you're ready to go. So moving on, again, we'll do no base height. Let's just make these zero again, uh, like the uh, other three before it. So let's calculate this, here we go. Okay, our model is now built, done. I'm gonna go back over to the model list here, turn everything back on, and now we're ready to set this up for printing. So just like normal, these models are built. You can print them uh, flat to the build platform like the way I like to do it, uh, or uh, uh, near vertical, or, or whatever you'd like to do. Um, I did notice something that I'll just point out here. There's a, a, a peculiar flap here. If this ever happens, a uh, slight change in the orientation can, can help a, a bunch. It sort of rethinks about it and completely removes it sometimes. And if you did need to just, hey, uh, that's fine. You know, I just want to move on. Um, this probably wouldn't really be an issue, uh, maybe. Uh, th the way to support these models, flat to the build platform, is you go into the supports menu, you change raft type to none, and I would just manually put three supports here or you can auto-generate uh, the selected model only. And this will automatically put supports where it thinks it needs it, which is probably only gonna be in that area. There's not really much else that needs support. Yeah, so it's generated some, uh, it's made this little support here, which is fine. I, you just don't want it to flake off and you know uh, be on the bottom of your build, build uh, tank or something like that. And I would actually remove these. So I'm just going to edit. Um, the little trick here is you uh, click and drag to select multiple touch points, delete, apply, and uh, we're ready to go. We've got our support where we want it, and this thing's ready to print. Okay, so we've got our four models here, and we're just ready to send the job to the printer. Uh, that does it for this video. I've got some other ones uh, that I want to make. Uh, I hope you check them out, and I hope this was useful. Again, my name is Sam, and this is Forum Labs Dental.